we got it all right here plus one extra long piece pretty cool we're gonna build this thing we got it going on it is this is how it's gonna work out it's coming along just fine I've got the corners cut into 45 degrees and then I've got these uh, eighth of an inch plates uh, steel plate or uh, aluminum plates right there into the corner two bolts here two bolts here so two and two and um, then the horizontal will come in like that and bolt right in to the sides either two or three nuts I may do it on the outside for more structural strength. Okay, so for the verticals, I'm going to build a bracket that's six, um, six by six squares like this, and I'm going to cut them in half, and that will be the triangle right here although this will be the mounting piece on the bottom of this project um, is also quarter inch thick so I will need to create a plate to bridge the gap between the bracket and or bracket um, and the uh, the vertical posts because there would be that little thing so and then I feel like three inches will be a good one for it because this is all the size three inches will be good because it will set those two bolts evenly right in the middle of that plate which will go through to the vertical so these two are going to go through all the way to the vertical these two are going through to the vertical these two are just getting bolted onto the horizontal mount. All right, so this is the test cut. It's a lot thicker than I thought it would be. I'm using these blades. I hope they're the right kind. People have said they are, so I'm gonna go with that. All right. All right, here we go. going real easy just lightly cutting into it um, because I've been told that aluminum melts and it doesn't really fray so and that could probably just get bent off there and sanded there we go all right cool there's one cut out of a hundred thousand 
cuts. So I'm gonna get some hearing protection because that's really loud. So hey, I'm gonna show you some more. All right, guys. So what happened is uh, my stupid blades suck, and I'm using an angle grinder to make all my cuts. So I ran to Home Depot, and I see these really cool diamond plate blades. Boom! These should work great. They even show it right there, angled aluminum. So if I have to make any more cuts on that, that'll be great. Also got these markers right here to mark the holes I'm gonna be drilling. And um, boom, some cock clear because of the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, because I don't want to see that shit. <laughs> and I need to waterproof the holes that I'm making. All right, guys. Till next time. I got the, the roof. I'm gonna use this thin ass shit just for now. It's lightweight, uh, 26 dollars, I think. So that's not too bad. I got all my stuff. We got it going on, guys. Time to look jam out to a little bit of Pearl Jam and uh, enjoy the rest of the day doing some fabrication. So here's some of the metal that I got going on here, okay? So what I'm gonna show you, hold on. All right, so when I bolt this in like that, right? This angled aluminum, you see how it hits that 90 degree angle. If, well, I gotta sand some of this shit down. Hold on, we'll turn it around. All right, there we go. So, boom. Right, and I put a, two nuts through there, nuts and bolts. There's that gap. Now I'm gonna use the flat steel to cover that gap, okay? But uh, let me show you. So now I've got the triangle piece, right? Which is gonna get bolted in like that. Okay, so that's what's gonna look with the with the piece of flat aluminum in the middle right there and it's gonna bolt two pieces or two bolts through there which will hold the three pieces together there and then sorry for the shaky camera job but uh, that will be the brace and it will look something like that from the inside so it should be relatively sturdy so I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six bolts going into this thing. And uh, that should help with the stability of it going left or right. So, yep, uh, it's coming together. So what I'll show you with uh, these pieces is that, as I showed you earlier, I had that rectangle piece, um, the rectangle piece, pieces uh, that I cut into squares, and now I'm cutting them into triangles. All right, these blades are here where they did it, but it was really slow. So what I would recommend buying is the rigid, all right, hold on, where is it? The rigid uh, diamond blade. That thing is really cool. You'll see on the picture it has that. So, I mean, this thing cuts twice as fast. Uh, right now I'm just doing a little bit of filing the sharp edges. Cause I literally just go through most of the way and then bend it off. Um, uh, the angle grinder's kind of a little bit warm. So I'm letting it, I'm letting it cool down. I've been using the, uh, the vise here to mount in a plate so after I cut them into squares right I'm now cutting them into triangles hold on let me I'm doing a one-hander here Shoot tools from the other boat barbecues I got piles of sails right there lots of line I got two two baskets for line more line right there in here i got like cooking stuff 
uh, from the other boat that I that I sold that I, uh, I'm selling right now. Cool, I got the pump right there. Could check that out. Um, life vests, all kinds of shit. Yeah, it's all more tools. Crazy amount of stuff. I got a pile of teak right there. Another outboard. There's another outboard. I'm collecting too much boat stuff. Who needs some boat stuff? Let me know. <laughs> Help clean my garage. Uh, Harbor Freight 2000 watt uh, power inverter. That's an extra. That's a spare. You never know. That fan is life right now because it's over 100 degrees out here right now. Uh, all right, guys. I'm going to keep working away at this. I'm just going to show you progressions. I mean, so let me let me just bust it out here. So this is kind of was my first draft. I've, since then, I've added a second support, um, making four for these. Just kind of realize that's going to be. This is all the math I'm doing. First drafts, second drafts. There's some through hole stuff. Hold on. That's a different project. Um, let me see here. This is kind of an overview of like how the how the cockpit is. So I've got one, two, three, four verticals. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna mount horizontal here, 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 and here. And I'm gonna mount. That's what these brackets, uh, these brace braces are for. So and that's what it's gonna look like from the side. And the and the top, these right here, uh, I actually got flat, which is kind of stupid. So because it'll droop, it's not as strong as angled. So here's pretty much. This is for a 39 foot Yorktown center carpet. So if you're going to build one like that, there's all the measurements that you'll need to build this same thing. Um, let me see here. That's my corner piece um, for the for the roof. Uh, that's where I'm gonna drill the holes and bolt it in. So this is kind of what it looks like. I've shown you now, and you could see it coming out of how it's going to actually look. This was me doing math. That was the first size. Here's the actual size that I'm using now. All this should be close, roughly, that size. And then that's it on a different perspective with things shaded. Drop that in there. It's obviously gonna be over here like that. Bolt, bolt, two bolts here, one here one in each corner two bolts here and then two and then uh one more right there so when i put that flat piece this angled aluminum or not angled, this uh flat aluminum piece right here is going to be the gap piece that i'm talking about that goes in between the ver the vertical and the horizontals all right um, so blam, right? That's how that goes like that. It's coming together. It's hot. All right, guys, I'm going to keep trucking. All right, guys. So I have been cutting at that quarter inch, uh, for a while now. And, you know, for a dollar a cut, um, they'll cut it for you. So I'm going to just go get some more pieces cut. Um, it's a dollar so a cut but you know it's like a hundred and something degrees out i'm in a garage it sucks like I've, I've been spending hours chopping away at it you you really can't get at that properly without you know using using the right tools i mean you can use an angle grinder but damn it takes you got to keep cutting at it and cutting at it because the aluminum is melting to the blade even though it's a diamond blade they're still still hitting it up 
pretty good. Um, so shit, you know, so I'm down here. Um, I'm also going to see about getting some horizontal uh, support pieces for the middle of the roof of the top um, going from the port to starboard or starboard to port, whichever, um, because I just, I really want this to be a strong uh, thing. So we'll see. There's going to be probably an update video after. So this video is kind of like the planning and building. Then the next video is going to be, uh, part two is going to be actually assembling this thing. And then part three is, um, is probably gonna be doing a little extra strengthening, tightening the reins on it. We'll see, there might not even be a part three. So um, keep, uh, watch them all in order so you can see kind of like how my thought process went throughout this. So you, you might be able to, it's all about planning uh, a customized hard top um, pilot house type thing for your, for your boat even not just my boat but for your boat so hopefully uh you heard all that because i was covering the mic <laughs> with my finger Shit. all right so okay all right guys uh i'm gonna head into the metal shop right now and get uh some of these cut uh to size all right B dogs uh, on our way back to Home Depot right now because uh, working on plan 3.0 <laughs> <laughs> I'll go over the design and it's going to be great uh, Home Depot is actually probably not the greatest place to get all the stuff that we need but uh, yeah we're doing it all of these connected we're doing the measurements Right now, I can't really see it because of my shadow, but we're measuring the uh, cuts. I'm gonna drill these. This is gonna be the the roof of the whole project. I got the ruler and a marker and a pen. That's it right there. There's Frankie. What's up, Frankie? Don and my mom. 